Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program to help you integrate and heal the pattern, feelings and beliefs of the belief that you can't have love and financial abundance at the same time. This program is designed to help you feel better now, and more empowered to handle this issue in daily life. To best benefit from this program, full screen is recommended. Sit upright and still, and while you listen, follow the ball or pattern with your eyes. Alternatively, you may tap on one or more EFT tapping points. Are you ready? Please take full responsibility for your well-being. Section 1. We begin with the negative before reframing the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still love and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I believe that love would escape me if I pursued wealth. I felt that achieving success meant losing affection from those I care about. I thought being wealthy would make me a target for judgment and isolation. I was convinced that money would bring me punishment rather than happiness. I felt unworthy of experiencing love and financial stability simultaneously. I lived in fear that embracing success would lead to being deprived of love. The more I achieved, the more I felt isolated and unloved. I was certain that my past mistakes made me undeserving of abundance and love. I believed that having money meant sacrificing genuine connections. The thought of being successful and loved at the same time seemed impossible. I felt that my desire for wealth would ultimately lead to loneliness. I was haunted by the idea that my achievements would alienate me from loved ones. I thought that to be loved, I had to remain humble and not too ambitious. The fear of being judged for my success constantly overshadowed me. I was convinced that the world would love me less if I had more. Section 2. Embrace this soothing, loving perspective to speak to your inner child. Maintain your attention on the screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I'm sorry you felt that pursuing wealth would cost you love. You are deserving of both, without compromise. It pains me that you believed success meant losing affection. You are worthy of love, irrespective of your achievements. I understand you felt judged for aspiring to be wealthy. It's okay to seek abundance while maintaining genuine relationships. I see how you associated money with punishment. You are allowed to find joy and prosperity in harmony. I regret that you felt unworthy of love and stability. You deserve to enjoy both aspects of life fully. It saddens me that success brought you fear of losing love. Success and love can coexist beautifully in your life. I acknowledge your feelings of isolation with achievement. You can be successful and deeply connected to others. I'm sorry you believed past mistakes made you undeserving. You are always worthy of abundance and love. I hear your worry about wealth costing you genuine connections. Wealth and authentic relationships can flourish together. It's heartbreaking that you saw success and love as mutually exclusive. They can harmoniously enrich your life. I feel for you, thinking wealth would lead to loneliness. You can attract abundance and still be surrounded by love. I empathize with your fear of achievements alienating loved ones. Your success can actually bring you closer to people who truly care. I'm sorry you felt you had to downplay your ambitions to be loved. Your aspirations and relationships can grow side by side. I understand the shadow of judgment success cast over you. You can shine brightly in your achievements without fear. I see the belief that more wealth meant less. Love. The world can appreciate you more as you prosper. Section 3. Now, visualize positive change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace the possibility of thriving in love and wealth simultaneously celebrating the abundance in all areas of my life. I am open to the belief that my success amplifies the love I give and receive, enriching my relationships. I could consider that my pursuit of wealth can coexist with genuine connections, bringing richness to my life beyond finances. It would be nice if I could see money as a tool for happiness and not a source of punishment, aligning my prosperity with inner peace. It is possible that I am deserving of love and stability, allowing myself to enjoy the fruits of my success without guilt. I can start to believe that my achievements and loving relationships are not mutually exclusive, but rather complementary. 
I am willing to explore the idea that I can be celebrated for my successes without losing the warmth of genuine connections. I have the opportunity to let go of past mistakes and embrace my worthiness for love and abundance, recognizing my growth. I am capable of nurturing wealth without compromising on the depth of my relationships, building a life of balanced abundance. I embrace the idea of being successful and loved, proving that one does not have to be sacrificed for the other. I am ready to let go of the fear that wealth leads to loneliness, opening my heart to love that grows with my success. I am beginning to see that my achievements can actually enhance my relationships, attracting like-minded individuals. I am receptive to the notion that my ambitions are valid and that I can pursue them without losing the essence of who I am. I am shifting towards a mindset where success is not overshadowed by judgment but celebrated with genuine appreciation. I am open-minded about receiving more wealth and love, understanding that the universe is abundant and generous. Section 4. Bridging the journey from challenge to transformation. Remember to maintain your focus on the screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I believed that love would escape me if I pursued wealth, I am now giving myself permission to embrace both, choosing now to thrive in love and wealth simultaneously. Even though I felt that achieving success meant losing affection, I am ready to embrace the belief that my success amplifies the love I give and receive. Even though I thought being wealthy would make me a target for judgment, I am opening myself up to the possibility of wealth coexisting with genuine connections. Even though I was convinced that money would bring punishment, I am choosing to see money as a tool for happiness, aligning my prosperity with inner peace. Even though I felt unworthy of experiencing love and financial stability simultaneously, I am reminding myself that I am deserving of love and stability. Even though I lived in fear that embracing success would lead to being deprived of love, I am choosing to believe that achievements and loving relationships are complementary. Even though the more I achieved, the more I felt isolated, I am willing to explore the idea that I can be celebrated for my successes without losing genuine connections. Even though I was certain my past mistakes made me undeserving of abundance, I am open to letting go of past mistakes and embracing my worthiness for love and abundance. Even though I believed that having money meant sacrificing genuine connections, I am ready to nurture wealth without compromising on the depth of my relationships. Even though the thought of being successful and loved at the same time seemed impossible, I am embracing the idea of being successful and loved. Simultaneously. Even though I felt that my desire for wealth would ultimately lead to loneliness, I am choosing to let go of the fear that wealth leads to loneliness. Even though I was haunted by the idea that my achievements would alienate me, I am beginning to see that my achievements can enhance my relationships. Even though I thought that to be loved, I had to remain humble, I am receptive to the notion that my ambitions are valid and can be pursued without losing my essence. Even though the fear of being judged for my success overshadowed me, I am shifting towards a mindset where success is celebrated with genuine appreciation. Even though I was convinced the world would love me less if I had more, I am open-minded about receiving more wealth and love, understanding the universe's abundance. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go to section 5. Preemptive gratitude for transformation. I am grateful for the harmonious balance of love and abundance in my life, feeling the support of the universe in every step. I give thanks for the ability to embrace success without fear, knowing that it brings more love and connection into my world. I am thankful for the wisdom to see wealth as a tool for creating happiness and sharing it with those I love. I appreciate my journey towards recognizing my worthiness for love and stability, feeling the unconditional support of my higher self. I am grateful for the strength to let go of past mistakes, embracing the abundance and love that is my birthright. I give thanks for the deep, meaningful connections in my life that grow stronger with my successes. I am thankful for the universe showing me that success and love can coexist, enriching my life in every aspect. I appreciate the newfound belief in my ability to attract love and abundance simultaneously, feeling infinitely worthy and supported. I am grateful for the courage to pursue my ambitions while staying true to myself, knowing that the universe supports my authentic path. 
I give thanks for the realization that I am deserving of love and abundance, feeling the eternal and unconditional love of the source energy within me. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started. Be attentive to the reduction in the emotional weight of associated memories and changes in how you react to things that used to trigger you. Feel free to repeat this program to completely shift and reframe this pattern and beliefs. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.